My baby was placed on oxygen for complete four days. No milk, no breast. He asked me not to breastfeed him, that if I do, that I will lose my child. My dear, I was like a mad woman. I called him when I was rushing that baby. This man did not come to me for complete one week and I was in that hospital. He did not come. He did not ask me how I'm spending money, how, how they are treating him. He did not even care. My colleagues in the office was the people bringing food for me. Anytime they, bring, they brought food, they would start that. They are still wearing this cloth for how many days? I was like a mad woman. If you see me, you will pity me. That was where the nurse said, ah, <laughs> now is now. We, this is where we know that you are really going through hell in the hand of this man. I never knew he came because of money. He came because I was working. He thought he would, you know, get whatever he wants from me. I mean like money and then he will, he will go his way. But it, it, it didn't succeed. So as he did not succeed, he was not chasing me, I should go out of his house or he will kill me. That if I don't leave it with my sisters and brother to eat inside that house was a problem because I was afraid he may poison my food. So I was scared of eating. I, I couldn't eat, I couldn't do anything. I only cook. Before I come back, he has already finished everything. The food, the gary in the house. He will call another woman's children. That thing, the same woman that he's, that he, that he's friending is a, 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 a girl. He will call them, he will make a bar. He will make Gary, bring out all the soup from the freezer, warm all. They will sit down and eat. After eating, they will dump all the whole dirty plates for me to come and wash after when I come back from work. This is all I have gone through in the hand of my husband. Why I'm doing this video is for you women like me out there. If you're a housewife, you better look for something to do. Don't rely on any man. Yes, it's your husband. He provides everything. But please look for something doing. If you are a young girl, you, have no, you are not yet married. Before you get married, study that, ver that man very well. Make sure you do something that will, you know, provoke him in order for you to know his kind of person. You understand? Later, you apologize to him. Do something that you will know. Is beautiful because I, I discovered now that majority of them they hide their true color, their true character. They don't bring it out until when you enter. Look at my colleague that got married last year, July. She and this guy have already dated before, before the guy now come back that he wants to marry her. And she has accepted him. Could you imagine that after their traditional marriage, it wasn't up to even a month and the marriage did what collapsed. The man started complaining, I discovered this about you, I discovered that about you, I'm no longer interested, you are the cause of my, my downfall, you are the cause of marriage of how many months? I'm telling you, the man went and collected his bride price, the, the money he paid as a bride price, he has, he has collected it. My colleague now has gone back to his parents' house. What a world. What, what a wicked world. Men are now so wicked. In fact, some of our Igbo people now, they are the worst of all. Some of them now are the worst, are doing, the, are doing worst in marriage. I don't know what is really happening. I don't know what is going on. It's only God that will help us women. Please, if you are a woman, if you are a woman out there, please, Start to do something. Don't fold your hands. Don't stay idle. I don't encourage any, any woman staying as a house, full housewife in the house. It's, it was before, not now. If you are doing that, I'm, I fact, your name is sorry. If you are a girl, make sure you stand very well. Let's assume I'm, I'm not dropping small, small money, my dear. Where will I get money to pay 261,000 naira in the hospital? Where will I get money to treat my baby in Massey Hospital? Because I know they don't collect money. It's a government hospital. They don't collect money. It's for children. But the drugs they, they will write for you to go and buy for them to commence treatment under your child. My dear, if you don't have money, you lose that your baby. If you don't have, if I didn't spend that period that my baby was down, I spent up to 170,000 in Massey Hospital. My colleagues, they helped me. I exhausted all I had on me, my dear brothers and sisters, especially 
my, my fellow women, don't fold your hands. Men are now terrible. Not all, but the majority of them now sees women who are not doing anything as a liability. Don't be a liability on anybody. Stand up, look for something to do, and God will help you in the name of Jesus. All right, I'm going to end this video here. This is um, I, I do this video in order to encourage somebody who has been going through the same thing I went through. Please put your trust in God. He is the first thing you are going to do what fall back on because he will give you the idea on how to follow that situation. Another thing again is don't fold your hands. Look for something doing and God will establish you mightily in the name of Jesus. In case you have not subscribed, please try to subscribe, share my videos, tell your loved ones about this video, share and help your sister in sharing my videos and God will richly bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you all and God bless you. See you next time. Ciao.